Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of G News Plus. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Tackling the low birth rate has been one of the major issues of Kyungi Province. The provincial government recently announced the launch of the An Shim Child Care Environment Creation Plan for the promotion of childbirth. It is an intensive five-year plan comprised of a number of projects designed to create a better childbearing environment and encourage parenting among young married couples. The designation of public type children's homes stemmed from the concept of providing private child care services at the same prices and quality as public establishments. Compared with other private children's homes and nursery schools, these public type homes charge much lower fees of 76 to 78,000 Korean won a month per child, and teachers receive a competitive monthly salary of 1.5 million Korean won on average. There are 186 public type children's homes in Kyungi Province. According to the provincial government's plan, the number of public type children's homes will be increased to 220 by the end of this year. Increasing the number of public type children's homes marks the beginning of the implementation of the Provincial Child Care Environment Creation Plan. A number of other projects will follow under this plan until 2016. A total of 145 additional public children's homes will be established in Kyungi Province and closed circuit television systems will be installed in all public children's homes for the safety of children. Other children's homes will also be encouraged to participate in the evaluation for public type children's home certification. Kyungi Province has introduced a variety of projects for the purpose of increasing the birth rate, but these projects have yet to bear fruit. As its name suggests, the Anshim Child Care Environment Creation Plan will hopefully relieve young married couples of their concerns regarding child rearing and eventually contribute to increasing the birth rate. There was an interesting note in a report by the Korea Tourism Organization to the effect that the inducement of two foreign medical tourists has the same beneficial effect on the national economy as the export of one mid-sized car. Medical tourism is attracting interest as one of the new growth-driving industries in Korea. Korea earned 230 billion Korean won from foreign medical tourists last year. The production inducement effect of this amount is calculated to be 39 billion Korean won. While there is fierce competition among provinces and metropolises in Korea, Kyungi Province became the center of the Korean wave in medical tourism. 14,600 foreign patients visited Kyungi Province last year alone. Kyungi has been the second largest medical service provider to foreign visitors in Korea since 2009, with more than 10,000 medical service seekers arriving from abroad for the three consecutive years. Kyungi Province plans to continue efforts to find new markets for the medical industry by promoting medical tourism. Encouraged by the positive results of visits to the provincial medical system by Kazakhstanis and Russians, the provincial government plans to continue the promotion of medical facility tours for overseas medical professionals. Kyungi Province opened global medical business centers in Los Angeles of the United States and Almaty region of Kazakhstan in April last year and will continue its active overseas medical marketing to attract foreign patients to the province. Kyungi Province will provide support to the aspiring host city and organization of the Volvo Ocean Race, one of the three biggest international sailing competitions. Kyungi Province took an active move to promote marine leisure sports. Kyungi Province signed an MOU with Hwasong City and Teha Machinery Group for the provision of support for securing the Volvo Ocean Race. According to this agreement, Kyungi Province and Hwasong City will offer the Jungkook Port Marina for racing and mooring. The Volvo Ocean Race is one of the three biggest international sailing competitions. It consists of a tour of international ports throughout the world for 11 sailing contests lasting nine months. The Volvo Ocean Race will provide an ideal opportunity to implement a variety of promotional events and marketing for the marine leisure sports industry and facilities of Kyungi Province. Kyungi Province, Hwasong City and Deha Group aim to secure the hosting of the race after 2013. Successful hosting of this major international sailing event will not only boost the marine leisure industry of Korea, but also attract the interest of many international industries and investors to Kyungi Province.
Gyeonggi Province opened a website to provide access to all 31 cities and counties of the province through social network services. This site provides a single channel of access to all 31 cities and counties as well as public organizations of the province through social network services. A total of 147 individual social media services offered by cities, counties and public organizations are channeled into this single website forming the Gyeonggi Province Social Hub. This Gyeonggi Province Social Hub was completed by expanding and modifying the existing social media center which opened last year. This new hub will provide real-time access to current information featured by each media service. Information includes Twitter, Facebook and blog sections, as well as social maps with account information for each organization. Users can view information provided by all regional offices and organizations and make inquiries on the spot. Gyeonggi Province expects that this hub will serve as an ideal channel for the public to propose ideas and suggestions which the provincial government values highly in its policy formation. The early occupants of Gwangyo New Town have been suffering a lack of administrative services due to incomplete infrastructure and administrative systems. Since the number of resident families has passed the 5,000 mark, the Gyeonggi Provincial Government announced that it would speed up the process and implement active measures to address the problems. Since the residential occupation of Gwangyo New Town began in July last year, the need for the improvement of administrative services has become serious as the number of resident families grows. Gyeonggi Province promised to improve administrative services through the strengthening of service systems and close communication with residents. In addition to Gyeonggi Province, Suwon City, Yongin City and the Gyeonggi Urban Innovation Corporation as well as its public project contractors also joined in to alleviate the difficulties faced by the residents of Gwangyo New Town. The most urgent issues pertain to transportation, child protection, firefighting and policing and the construction of public facilities. Gyeonggi Province will take all necessary measures to address the issues raised by residents in close cooperation with related offices and organizations. Measures include increasing the number of buses and bus routes, the establishment of police offices, and the early opening of new schools. The public office side of communication will also be facilitated through the provision of information on new town development, replies to civil complaints, and notification of various plans. When spring warmth returns in March and most of the delayed construction work is completed, Gwangyo New Town will also complete its transformation into a convenient and beautiful city. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of G News Plus. We look forward to seeing you again next week.